Okay, now we're going to run the test for the organic pouches. Um, we recommend also to enter the pouch uh, here in the conveyor and the, on the conveyor belt in this direction. Always transport uh, the pouch on the long edge. Here they have the two sidebars which keep the product in place to assure that the alignment is right. Um, okay, now we go through the steps how to start the machine. The test went very well. First, you start the conveyor belt, which uh, activates the ribbons. Okay. Uh, second is the labeling mechanism. With the conveyor belt, you could actually test if uh, if the product runs through. Then you start the labeling part. Now, the sensor detects the product and will shoot a label onto the product. And then the first step, you have to start the conveyor belt, which now is an external external switch. Uh, the switch is going to be here at the end. The meaning for that is the input hopper has a separate motor which runs slower than the actual machine to make sure that there is a gap between the product. There, uh, there is a gap needed to separate each product from, from each other so the labeling so the labeler know when to shoot the label onto the product. Uh, we have now used our own labels uh, which meet the standard the, the label size you send us you need to make sure that the labels are on the on the carton core otherwise you cannot use them for automatic production we place the label now on the front side but you could also put um, the label on the other side if you prefer both is perfectly fine you can very easily adjust the position of the label very accurately as you can see here put two next to each other, the labeling position is exactly the same. Even if you label above each other, as you can see, there's less than a tenth millimeter um, tolerance. So you can very ac accurately position the label, uh, you can change the, uh, the X position, by moving this sensor back and forth you can change the Y position by just moving this which moves the complete labeling part in the, in the Y axis so they can be, you're very flexible in the positioning of the layer we just place it now in the middle so you can still see the um, the logo that's pretty much it